Frank, and we are the creators of Mike on Board. So, um, hello. So, essentially, what we have created, can everyone hear me? Yep. Oh, All right. So, uh, Mike on Board is essentially it's a location based communication platform so that users are able to connect with their families and friends in real time. Uh, you're able to share both messages and multimedia as well as automate notifications when you enter or exit specific geographic zones. Now these geographic zones are something that you would go in and date ahead of time so that you can plan your whole day or week around when you enter or exit and alert everyone. Now what we've done is we've observed a lot of other apps in the space and we've noticed that um, lots of other companies and applications are starting to take advantage of location-based services. As such, we decided to monetize on location-based advertising. Additionally, we created something called supervised accounts, which allow uh, parents to go in there and purchase um, per essentially parentally locked accounts for their children so they could restrict the amount of features such as turning off the location tracking services. Um, what we are starting to see is that our users are using our platform in order to connect during uh, nights out in the city, specifically around bar crawls, as well as during uh, large outdoor concerts or events. Um, they're also being used to provide safety, whether you're going out for a lonely walk or on a blind date, or as well as during relief or an ongoing disaster. You know, that's enough of you talking. I think we should get into the demo. Right, so, so we provide our users with multiple uh, ways of logging. We have Facebook and Instagram. If anyone's not comfortable with that, we also offer um, just regular username and password. So, so here we have the main menu, and you can either share your current location right now, and that just is right here, right now. That's that's it. Or you can enable automated location sharing. Turn the phone off, put it in my pocket, go drive around, and it'll stay on and continuously share my location with everyone that's in my convoy at that time. And it's all intelligently uh, disabled and enables the GPS. So, for instance, I stop a red light for a second, it'll stop pinging the GPS. And then as soon as I start driving, it'll start pinging it again. And use the accelerometer and all that kind of stuff to um, do all the calculations. So while you're sharing your location, you choose your you choose who is in your convoy at that time. You can usually just toggle whoever you want, you know, on, off, and then you can see where they were. The the eyeballs over here indicate on the other person's phone if they're sharing their uh, location with me. And then we also have many features to add users like local vicinity. So there's no users here at all. But um, you can also read phone contacts or just search by uh, display name. And you can search everyone's name and their picture will come up and then you can recognize, okay, that's that person. And you can add them that way. Um, another great feature we have here are called zones. Um, so for instance here, I can draw out a zone. I can make it as big as I want. I can I can go crazy with this. I can literally build anything I really want. And then once I'm done with that, I can name the zone. And I can assign this zone on myself, or I can assign it to specific um, people that are in my convoy. And I can um, get notifications when me, myself, enters or exits the zone or I can assign it to specific people. And at the end, it'll give you a review, let you know what the zone does. Another great feature we have here is on the map, magic zoom, so just magically zoom into what it, it knows where you want to zoom. <laughs> um, and you can also shout messages. So you just tap hold the map. And this looks like a paintball field of some sort. And then say baseball, we can attach media. And then, and then when we send it, choose who you want it to send it to. And send it right and everyone will get that. And you can easily communicate and coordinate much easier in one platform. And that's it.
questions? Do you have APIs for your program? Um, no, I don't have anything open. No, it's no open APIs. Sorry, was was clear to me in the beginning. Uh, why would I, as a user, uh, pay money for the yeah. app? It's free. It's free. <laughs> yeah, everyone can. How do you pay money? Well, parents and children can. Or, um, so, for instance, a parent can pay a dollar a month or so for supervised accounts, which makes sure the child can't disable the service. Because as you saw here, you can enable or disable sharing the station at, at your own will. And then also the parent can set schedules. So, say, 7 o'clock to 6 p.m., it has to stay enabled. And then it can turn off after that. Do you have any growth plans beyond? Yes. In, uh, in addition, we have um, some revenue where we are able to, we have, um, based on the map feature, we realize that local businesses want to be able to target their advertisements specifically towards people that are in the vicinity of their, I don't know, let's say restaurant or bar at a specific time of day. So if a restaurant found out that lots of people get out of the bar and they're pretty hammered at 2 a.m. in the morning, they'd be able to send a specific advertisement to everyone using my convoy that is within walking vicinity of the bar at 2 a.m. And so by allowing local businesses the opportunity to come in and advertise within our platform, we're able to generate revenue from there as well. Yes. Uh, so a technology problem. How can you improve the accuracy of the location? I think even Google they didn't start with the location. Well, I mean, there's, there's always going to be problems with um, GPSs. For instance, if you're in a big building, it's going to be very difficult to retrieve a, a very good signal. But what we try to do is when you press the manual share current location, it pings it for 30 seconds and it takes in usually one. Um, like one accuracy reading per second or so. And then as soon as it hits uh, around 10, 10 to 15 meters, then it sends it out to our server. And then at the end of the 30 seconds, if it didn't uh, hit that 30 or uh, that 15 accuracy, it'll still send out whatever it was at, say 25 or 30. Um, Depending on the person's GPS, what the kid just turns off the location. So, so you're, you're mainly depending on the uh, phone's GPS thing, right? So if you turn the, the kid decides to turn the location services off, it'll it'll prompt you again. If you turn your location, yeah. So if the kid off, turns off the location services, the parent would know. <coughs> the deleting the application. What's that? How do you prevent the child from deleting the application? Yeah. 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 Gotta be a good How many customers do you have now? How many have ever Um, we just launched uh, about like a month ago, and we have two hundred and seventy users so far, and that's from our own marketing. Um, Marketing. I just run into bars and I run around the whole place. I'm like, hey, check out my app. And then I come back at the beginning and slowly talk to each group. And then as soon as one group downloads it, then they get the wow factor of everyone in sitting there can see each other's location. And that's when it becomes, oh, cool. Yeah. So, how do you solve the security issue? As the example you given, mm -hmm. around the, uh, anyone around the bar, they're able to search and run here. So as a parent, if I knew that everybody around the same like a zone can know where my daughter is, it's, it's a safety concern. Why would I use this app for that purpose? For the adding in the local vicinity? Yeah. Because it's only a picture. You don't you, you don't it's more dangerous. So no, no, so you don't get a location. Well, so it's not someone... tagged. It's not it's not tied to a specific location. So if I was to write now, let's say there were thirty people in this room that were all using our app, we would open it up and I would just get a list. And with with uh, with the icon of whatever they said, so whether it's the picture of yeah, their face like or whatever it may be, and then that's it. There's no name that goes along with it. There's not a picture or a screenshot of their location blip on the map. It's just a picture, and so you either know that person by picture or you don't. And the other person has to accept them as well before any information is revealed between the parties. And there's in the settings you can we have about like six or so privacy 
settings where you can completely disable anyone being able to reach you, use either local vicinity, searching your name, anything at all. Then they have to type in the username, and that's one way to reduce that. All right, thank you very much.